I remember having lots of discussions about communism, socialism. People critical of the government being locked up. When Morris Bishop was put under house arrest, when the crowds of people came from his home and brought him to the fort, I kind of had to walk with and through that crowd. I can go right to go home, I go left to go up in the fort where they were taking Morris Bishop, and I went right and I went home. That's where the ideological conflict with that massacre of the Marxists was taking place in 1983. My home had a view of that fort. You could see armored vehicle driving up and murdering people. And people were, when they heard the gunfire, people were basically jumping off the walls. Today, the headquarters of the police is here. So literally, what really happened here? This used to be like a communication room during the P PRG time. Mm -hmm. And Morris Bishop and the was taken from this communication room and, and taken to the back where he was executed. People we knew got killed. Including a pregnant woman who was just said pregnant from Morris Bishop named Jacqueline Kreff, I think was education minister. It was not an easy day in Grenada. Under normal circumstances, America would not have invaded Grenada because of the popularity. It was scary at first with the U.S. invasion because Grenada had a, you know, relative this population had a huge army. Cubans were here as military advisors, but a few Cubans died well on the international level mm -hmm. when the Americans bombed. And a lot of them took up the small, the light arms they had because they had no reinforcement by Fidel Castro. Mm -hmm. Not Nothing like anti-aircraft guns or anything. The Grenadians fought their own war. And a lot of, quite a few Americans died. There was a field where they lost a helicopter. I think one of the pilots there got killed, but the other one survived. So they tried to rescue him, and I saw that happen. It's kind of hard to describe because the geography of the St. George's Harbor is kind of tricky, but at the tip of that peninsula was Morris Bishop's office. And right underneath it was an anti-aircraft a gun and so there were two helicopters right one had to go in and do the rescue and and the other one had to defend it you, the, the rescue helicopter had to kind of fly in underneath and the one that was doing the defending fired a missile at that anti-aircraft installation and missed and that's kind of why that building was destroyed if you go look now the building is just a shell so it missed and then the anti-aircraft gun actually shot it down it was very well trained Grenadian soldiers what turned out to happen is that most people weren't really fighting back. Once that became apparent, we realized that it wasn't that dangerous. I wanted to do stuff that was interesting. It was completely secret, and I was willing to take risks. I was willing to take risks, but I had a good time.